Climate change is causing Earth's temperature to rise, and as that happens, the level of oxygen in our lakes is going down. WCCO's David Schumann found out how that could change life on and below the water. He's live near Lake Nokomis in Minneapolis tonight. David. Jeff, the oceans get a lot of attention, but University of Minnesota researchers put out a study today that found lakes are losing oxygen faster. It's bad for many fish species, bad for water quality, could be bad for Minnesota tourism ultimately. The good news is there are ways for the lakes to be better protected. From here, the water of Lake Nokomis looks clear. If you actually get out there, Brian Nurbin with the DNR says it's more cloudy than you might expect. Climate change is certainly affecting all the lakes in Minnesota. Um, some of them are more sensitive than others. The DNR regularly measures dissolved oxygen levels in lakes, which on the whole are steadily declining. Dissolved oxygen is really important for all sorts of aquatic life that lives in our lakes, and it's something we've been concerned about in the Department of Natural Resources for a number of years. Those concerns were confirmed Wednesday in a University of Minnesota driven study that spanned about 400 lakes around the world going back to the 1940s, including 84 Minnesota lakes. It found that lakes are getting warmer, which lowers oxygen levels, which hurts fish habitats, biodiversity, and increases greenhouse gas emissions. There are direct management actions we can do to slow down or reverse these trends is kind of a hopeful point of it. These experts say local efforts should be focused on stopping unwanted nutrients from getting into the lakes because those cause damaging algae blooms. That means controlling how surrounding land is used. Minnesota is actually really a leader in devoting resources, money to protecting watersheds to slow down or reverse these oxygen losses. We're trying to put as much resiliency into those lakes as we can because we know they're going to have some stresses from that warming climate. The U of M researchers are now turning their sights specifically to Minnesota lakes so they can refine their recommendations on how habitats can be better protected here. All right. Thank you, David.